vacancies within the last month of firefighter paramedics who've left our department to go elsewhere for more money, that kind of thing, opportunities. Um, there is a paramedic shortage in the state of Indiana right now. Um, on um, March 19th, there was a story on Fox 59 where uh, IU Health Lifeline has dozens of paramedic openings, shortages, vacancies, and their staffs have to work overtime, uh, mandatory overtime. Uh, extra shifts and that kind of thing, and we're kind of running into that same problem here. Um, a lot of the shortages caused by the little micro hospitals that are popping up everywhere, like there's one in Plainfield, one in Avon, um, they are paying medics like $25 an hour, and 
you know, it's inside, you know, you have to be out in the weather, that kind of thing. So it's a pretty cush job. So you can't really blame medics for leaving lower pay for better conditions. But that creates shortages for us out here in the field where we actually need the paramedics rather than, than being a nurse kind of uh, <clears throat> makeup for the nursing shortage. The hospital are using paramedics in that capacity. So um, it's not a luxury for us to have this position. It's a necessity uh, for us to keep the ambulances on the streets and the level of care that we've always provided and that we're required to provide by the state of Indiana. Does that give us coverage on all the shifts? Correct. Which we may or may not have now? Uh, we have currently until the end of this month when okay. one of the guys is, is leaving. So that would have been like covering for each other right now? Is that what we're doing? That would have been covering? Yeah, we just, uh, one shift will stay over and for another and then that yeah. creates an overtime right. issue as well. So uh, the difference is um, firefighter paramedics who are covered under the state perf uh, pension, mm -hmm. they are allowed to work 212 hours in a 28 day cycle because they're considered cross trained. But we also have the age requirement of them having to be between the ages of like 18 and 36 when they're hired. Mm -hmm. So if you're 36 years old and one day after, we can't literally hire you as a firefighter paramedic but we can hire you as a civilian paramedic, but then you fall back into the standard 40 hour a week limitations for overtime. And when you're working 24 hour shifts, you know, every third day, then you run into the overtime part. So it, it's a complicated mess, but um, it's just something we, we have to deal with in order to keep the public served and, you know, Definitely a necessity. Yeah. I mean, I mean there's no way around that. And uh, the last two hiring processes that we've had that we've opened up to firefighter paramedics and EMTs, we've had no paramedics apply. So, and like I said, it's a shortage, and you got people up the street paying ten, fifteen thousand dollars or more a year. It's hard to compete. Hmm. And currently, Mark, if I'm correct, right now we really only have three part-time paramedics that we're relying on to help come in for plug in the gaps. That, that's correct. And then sometimes we're not always able to get those people to come in because they're dedicated to other jobs. Right. Um, is that civilian? I'm oh, sorry, Mark. No, is the civilian mean? permanent part of it, does that allow flexibility for them to come in here? And does it make it easier for... Well, it's an essentially a full-time spot. Right. Right. Okay. One of the things we can't do is use the civilian paramedics as a fireman. Sure. They are just strictly mm -hmm. dedicated to paramedics, mm -hmm. so right. they will not be utilized for anything else. Even though most of them are fire trained, we can't use them in that capacity because of the regulations of fair labor standards and all that. Right. It seems as though this <clears throat> wouldn't this be a decision that you could make from an executive standpoint. We can put it together for you, but ultimately it's going to be the board's decision because we're talking uh, employee benefits and things of this nature, which mm -hmm. falls more so under the executive branch of the government, such as your positions, or not the executive, the legislative mm -hmm. uh, side of it versus the executive side of it, which is the day-to-day -day operations. You know, um, just uh, I just want to be clear, this is not something that we're asking more money for. Mm -hmm. We have money already in our budget to do this, and uh, currently we are are budgeted for $410,000 this year for uh, personal services, which is where we pay our current two full-time civilian paramedics, uh, EMS Senior, Mark, Mark Senior, or EMS Division Chief, and three other part-time paramedics. So we do have money available there instead of the money that these people wouldn't normally would come in if we call them in to come in and work, but if they can't, so we do have a little bit of an excess money there in our part-time mm -hmm. position that we can create mm -hmm. this position from, and that's what I'm asking uh, permission from the board tonight to do, is uh, use the existing money that we have and without causing a budgetary issue, and it won't, so we will not have a shortfall out of this even by creating, just making this position a full-time position. Basically, we're just using the part-time position money 
to create. They have for their own. They have a permit there all the time. So. Yeah. Is there any questions from the public? Okay. I say yeah. I uh, make a motion that we approve the creation of civilian permit position for sea ship. I'll second that. <clears throat> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed. The motion carries. Okay, the second uh, new business item is to uh, adopt and approve temporary medical benefits for the trustee. Well, I don't know if anybody knows from me, you know, but uh, I have resigned from the Morgan Metropolitan Police Department as my full time paid position. I have um, been offered employment with another law enforcement agency. I took that position, and by doing that, uh, congratulations. Well, thank you. After 28 years on the front police department, thank you. I appreciate that. But uh, <coughs> this new position, my health insurance down there will not be taking effect for 90 days, so roughly three months. Uh, currently, I have. I, when I took over as trustee, I was offered insurance, and as part of the benefits package of being a trustee. Mm -hmm. I didn't take that because I was currently already on the town's insurance, so I didn't have to have that insurance package. Um, but I would uh, like to request from the uh, board tonight to have that three-month coverage period that I can pay into for that three mm -hmm. months, so I will be covered under health insurance. Okay. That's something that's already offered to you anyway, correct? It is, but there again, it's getting back to, since this is a benefit to employees, I'm taking the classified someone as an employee. Sure. That, that has to be uh, a decision made by the legislative branch, such as you folks, versus my own decision at the executive side. Okay. 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 Any, any other questions on that? Okay. I make a motion that we adopt and approve the temporary medical benefits for trustee. And I'll definitely second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. No opposed? Motion carries. The last one is a discussion on the Township Medical Trust. Yeah, we are currently, uh, with our insurance provider now, we are in discussion with, with in discussion with three other townships. Most of them, all of them are in the Indiana, you know, part of the state of Indiana, to form a Township Insurance Trust program, mm -hmm. uh, which will allow us, hopefully, to become self-funded later on, and which will help us reduce the insurance costs and stuff like that for the township. So it's something that would... Uh, we're pretty excited about this currently we keep shopping out our insurance every year during budgets mm -hmm. uh, i always go out and try to shop out the best insurance rates and stuff like that and by getting into this trust program um, that will alleviate a lot of that and having to do that every year uh, especially if it allows us to become self-funded so the more more townships that get involved in this the, the better it's going to be for all of us and currently we're just in talks right now with that and Vicki's probably got a little bit more information. Uh, she's been on the phone today with most of these people and stuff like that, so she can give you some updates that, that she's got. Okay. So the current status is the, the, there's a lot of cities and towns that do this now, as long as schools that do this and some nonprofit agencies. So this is something by state law we're allowed to do. Um, there has never been one before, so we're kind of a, a, a leader going into this, which has been a little nerve-wracking, but I think it's going to be great overall. Um, it basically throws us in that large market group versus the small groups, and they don't really negotiate with the small groups very well. It kind of, you get what you get, you just either take it or you don't. That's pretty much how it goes, but we have a little more bargaining power being a larger group and saying, hey, you know, ex you know, we can give them a few more data and make them knock it down percentage-wise. We're always... Insurance is insurance. It's always going to be an increase, but we can lower that amount of increase being a larger group versus being a smaller group. Um, we plan on growing this larger. Um, we don't plan on staying just four townships right now, um, but we're going to be the initial four and we're going to go from there. Um, we had a phone call with the um, gentleman who has set many of these up in the state, um, cities, towns, schools. He set up several different ones. Um, and he is, right now, he's working on drawing up the, the legal papers right now. We do not have those yet. So we just want to kind of get this, you guys knowing what was going on and kind of, we will need to come for board approval once we get all that done so you guys can look it over and make sure, you know, everything, you're happy with everything. If you have any questions, you know, Mike, please let us know. I mean, because we can, I can guide you wherever you need to go. Um, that's kind of where we're at. We're in the very early stage of this. Um, we just had, um, 
literally, we just kind of said last week, we're like, yes, we're all gung ho, let's do this, and that's kind of where we're at. So um, the next meeting we had after that was, okay, do we agree on this, this, and this? We've just kind of got some preliminary things going on right now. We don't have anything set in stone as of yet. If when we do this, it's going to be fast. Um, mm -hmm. They're wanting to do it. Well, they said May first. I don't know if that's going to happen, but it's probably going to be more like June first. Um, so it's going to be um, a flip flop and fun time, um, which we had to do last fall. So I mean, I'm pro at it. We'll make it happen. Um, <laughs> it's more of a headache on my end than anybody else's, but um, it's all good. That's what I'm here for. So. Um, it's going to be fast, but I think it's going to be a good thing. Um, uh, the other townships we're working with are really great. They actually um, are currently, um, we work with JA Benefits, who helps us with our medical insurance, and they've been wonderful. Um, I can't say enough of their praises right now. Um, and the other uh, townships also work with them as well, so it's kind of nice. So we're kind of, it's been easy coming together. They're great folks to work with. They're, they're very much into, you know, what can we do to help all the townships out. So hopefully, I don't like for this to take very long for it to grow because obviously we're going to see the benefits right away to a degree. Um, and then hopefully over the years it'll definitely help out. So we're working on terms and all the nitty gritty details right now. So I can't give you a lot of information right now, but I can, we just wanted you to be aware of what was going on and what we're going to do and that this is something we're part of. So, yeah. And we're continuing looking to reduce costs and stuff mm -hmm. like this. And then hopefully this will be a big advantage in doing that. Will this provide similar benefits? Yeah, we're going to be going, uh, we will be switching out. There's uh, not every, well, as some of you know, in Indiana, there's all, there, we don't have a lot of providers in Indiana. We just don't. We, our big ones are Anthem and United Healthcare. And it depends on what pocket you're in the state. So, like, there's Blue Claws, Blue Shield up in the northwest corner. And, and obviously, we've got IU Health here. And there's a couple little pockets down south. But we don't have a whole lot of options. Um, so when we had gone to IU Health this fall, um, we did it for a, a savings, um, but it also limited who you could go to. Um, and we took that risk because that's what we could afford because United Healthcare raised our rates so ridiculous that we couldn't, we couldn't afford it anymore without charging way more than we already charged So we didn't want to go that route, which is why we went the route we did because we figured, well, we're kind of in the IU major pocket, so to speak. So. It, it hurts a little bit going out at other places, but it, it was the lesser of two evils, so to speak. So um, we will be going back to United Healthcare. There's a few different, like with any program, there's some things that are better, some things that are worse. Um, the overall out of pocket is better with United Healthcare versus um, some other things. But the rest are so minimal, it's not anything that's crazy. So, uh, like I said, I'll be filling in with those numbers as we get closer, um, which I'll have. We're probably going to have to have another meeting here. It'll be sooner than later. I'm looking. I would like maybe the end of the month. It might be the first week of May, but it won't be too long because um, we'll need to get that going. Um, probably be a contractual. It will. It is a contract we have to enter into. So that way, and like I said, we're going to send it off to. We've already talked to our attorney about it, and he, you know, he's aware of what we're trying to do. So he said, you know, once you get everything, and again, we have an attorney who is used to doing this and has done it with government, you know, government agencies and. Um, so he's very familiar with what he's doing. He's been doing it, I think he said, for 15 years. So, I mean, this is what he does. So um, he knows what he's doing, but we will turn it into our attorney before we, you know, we obviously present it to you guys, make sure there's nothing that we need to question. But all the questions our attorney asked us to answer, got answered, and he was happy. So, I mean, so far he hasn't had any concerns. So um, it's just a matter of getting the logistics out at this point. So yeah. we're going to remain committed to still providing the amount of coverage that that we are that would be good. reducing <clears throat> coverages. Yeah, we're coverage. having some issues keeping people. We want to make sure that... And what I've learned is, because one of the townships that we're joining, we have one, one that's pretty similar to our size, one that's smaller, and one that's really a lot, lot larger than we are. And I have to say, I, I kind of was a little excited because we gave the equal amount of benefits as their package was, <laughs> and they're bigger, which means they have a bigger budget. They're up in Lake County, so they got... A lot of tax revenue coming in with the tax revenue that we don't have. So I was kind of excited about that and proud. So our benefits package is not terrible. Yeah. So I was kind of excited to see that when we compared all of us. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. So. Well, thanks for your efforts. Yeah. Seems pretty exciting. Yeah. Okay, there, there's no old business. Uh, any questions or comments from the public? Okay. All right.